Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video. Please consider subscribing to the channel and even hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. Well, if you're anything like me, even if you're not working in IT, you live, breathe and love IT. You take your home network seriously and your data is precious. You're trying to keep your data backed up regularly, that's fine, that's great. But in reality, it's probably not enough. The 3 to 1 backup strategy indicates that you need at least 3 copies of your data on 2 different media types and one should be located off-site. If you're a Synology owner, you're in luck because Synology makes it very easy to comply at least partially to the 3 to 1 backup strategy. We will be talking about Synology C2 solution and you will see how easy it is to automatically take your backups to the cloud, to Synology C2 and have at least the off-site solution for you. Well, today we are talking about not just backups, we are talking about backing up our backups. Let's dive right in and see how this is done. All right, so we, we are at the computer and before we jump right into the demo part of the video, let me just share with you my attempt to comply with a 3 to one backup strategy. I have two Synology devices. One is an older 216 plus, a newer 918 plus, and I also use a C2 backup as an off-site location. So my first copy of the data is my, is my data on my 918 plus and then I back up to my older Synology device the 216 plus and then the third copy is an off-site copy to the Synology C2 cloud storage so I use it myself it, I think from day one when it became pub publicly available I'm very happy with it I'm super excited to share this with you if you haven't al uh, already heard of it uh, I, I would like to share some uh, some data uh, in regards to pricing, at least in my opinion, the prices uh, are very, very uh, uh, competitive. Uh, um, they're, not, they're not too expensive. They give you a lot of protection and ease of mind. So I personally do recommend uh, getting, if you're a Synology owner, getting a Synology C2 subscription. So let's jump right into our uh, demo machine. It's a virtual machine running on, an, on an, a, a VMware uh, ESXi, but it, it, it doesn't matter. All we need is just uh, getting to the Synology uh, web interface, which we, which we will do right now. Let's log in. And in order to leverage or to utilize our C2 subscription, we need to go to the package center and download Hyper Backup. Instead of just searching for it, you, you can type Hyper and you will find it right here. Click Install. The installation is quick and easy. Hyper Backup lets you uh, create all sorts of uh, backup tasks. In fact, I use it on my prim primary Synology device to backup regularly my data to the older Synology device and to my C2 subscription. All right, it's already installed, let's open it. In advanced, by the way, I already created a, um, a demo shared folder with uh, uh, some data. Let's say that this is my critical family photos, contracts, I don't know, whatever. Uh, let's say that this is something that I would like to uh, back up regularly. So uh, the data is already there. And when I open Hyper Backup, since I don't have any backup tasks, it already asks me what task do I want to create. And from here I can create, a, I can create on a remote NAS device, on an R6 server. We have a lot of options here. We can back up to Dropbox, uh, back up to other, other cloud solutions. But we will focus on Synology C2 and click on Next. We will need to log in to our Synology C2 subscription using an email and password.
since I already logged in, it won't ask me for my credentials. I wanted to save time and effort. Let's give it the backup task a name and let's say test C2 backup, click next. Now we need to choose which shared folder we want to backup to our Synology C2 subscription. If you recall in our last video about backing up data, uh, backing up our computers using the active backup for business application, you might have this shared folder filled with the backups you took of your computers and you can backup that to the Synology cloud if you have enough, uh, uh, enough storage quota. But we will choose our critical data folder, click next. I'm not going to bother with any application settings to backup. I want to uh, enable the backup the, the task uh, notification. I don't want to, uh, in this case, to uh, create a log. I want to uh, uh, give it a, a schedule of uh, daily. Let's say I want to do it at three o'clock, uh, three a.m. Sorry, and checking backup integrity once a week. That's fine. I can even uh, enable the encryption, but uh, it, will, it will have some performance effect on the backup task. Uh, since this is a test uh, um, task, I'm not going to bother with it. I want to create a backup rotation so that uh, um, I will have only a certain amount of backups kept and the, uh, the older one will overwrite uh, uh, the newer one. I mean, the newer one will overwrite the older one. I'm going to, uh, to select the, from the earliest versions, but I'm only going to keep five. Smart Recycle is something that is uh, predefined by, uh, by Synology. Hourly, daily rotations, weekly rotations. Uh, if, you do, if you're less or uh, less concerned about the rotation and you want something that's tested, that's... Uh, that's uh, designed by Synology, you can select the Smart Recycle, but I'm going to keep it simple, uh, five, or, uh, five uh, versions, and I'm going to uh, click Apply. Alright, I am going to back up now, because I want to uh, also go over the restoring process. So yes, I want to back up now. Keep in mind, the first backup will always take longer because it will backup everything on your uh, shared folder to the cloud. All the other backups or the next backups will be incremental, so they'll take a lot less time. In this case, we really don't have a lot of data in the shared folder, so even the first backup will not take a lot. I, we will not wait for it to finish because, uh, 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 because I can uh, uh, cut it and editing but just so we'll keep in mind. All right, so our backup is complete. And since our backup is already made its way to the cloud, let's go ahead into the shared folder and delete everything. And you're gone. Bye bye. But don't worry, our backups are there and now since we lost our data, we can easily restore it with a restore button here. You know what, B before we do the, the complete restore, I'll even show you that we can restore specific files if we don't want to restore the whole thing. Sorry, we will click on backup explorer, sorry. This is now browsing directly from Synology C, uh, C2 Cloud and here are our files and I can restore individual files but I want to restore the whole thing. I'll go to the restore button here. Restore data from the Synology C2 task.
we are not restoring any system configuration. And now we have our, our real data as it was uploaded to the C2 cloud storage. Let's check that. It gives us a, a red exclamation mark that says uh, the entire folder will be overwritten. That's fine by us. And apply. And the restoring is now in process. In the meantime, I would like to show you another option. Let's say you're, you lost your data or uh, you have your data on C2, but you've completely lost uh, your uh, Synology device. It's, it's malfunction, it's broken, but you need the files that you uploaded to the C2. You can go to C2 web interface sign in and we will have an option to view our our data from from the cloud and download individual files on on whatever computer we we are logged in with here is our test c2 backup let's click on the browse button and here i am sitting on a computer it could be at work it could be in your uh, wife's uh, parents home a public library, whatever, and you have an option to take a file and just download it and get access to it. Here it is. Here's my photo. That's just a photo from the Maldives. I didn't take this picture, of course. So not only we have an option to restore the data from the cloud back to our Synology device, we already have some option to restore files even if we lost our Synology, our Synology device. Let's go, let's go back to our Synology device and see that the restoration, the restoration is complete. Let's click OK. Close this, close this. Let's go to file station, to our critical data folder. And indeed, every, every last of our files is there. So this is uh, our way uh, to utilize Synology ecosystem to comply at least partially to the three to one backup strategy. And at least for me, it, more than once, it helped me to get uh, back data that was uh, deleted by accident. I truly, really recommend Synology C2 from my own personal experience. All right, guys, that's it. Please consider subscribing, hit the bell icon, Follow us at, on Twitter at uh, uh, TechMeOut5. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.